Hi folks, Jeremy Klein with you, Outdoors NB, uh, here in St. John, New Brunswick. Today I want to talk to you about the Warner Aikilos High Angle Style Touring Paddle. So before we get into the paddle itself, I wanted to talk a little bit about Warner, uh, some information you can find on their website if you do some digging. So Warner uh, was established by Warner Fuhrer Sr., who is a uh, professional engineer, and his son uh, Warner Fuhrer Jr. Uh, out of Sultan, Washington on the west coast of the United States. Uh, it started out, uh, the son, Mr. Fuhrer Sr., uh, Jr., sorry was handcrafting paddles uh, and selling them to local shops in and around Washington area and down the coast. The demand grew so much that Mr. Uh, Fuhrer Sr. incorporated the company and they started going into it full time. So uh, Warner's knowledge, uh, the father, uh, Fuhrer Sr., his knowledge of materials really shines through, especially on uh, the paddles they have today and especially in the performance core line of which the Aikilos uh, carbon the Performance Core, the Shuna, and uh, Camino, a couple others are, are part of this line. Uh, that engineering knowledge and materials knowledge really shines through on these paddles. And we'll get into the details of that. So uh, the Aikilos here is primarily a carbon fiber material. And what carbon fiber is, uh, it's basically a mat that's made up of uh, carbon strands that are bonded together with a polymer. These mats are adhered one to the other in a mold or a jig using either a catalyst accelerated epoxy, uh, a polyester or a vinyl ester. Uh, and most of these paddles I do believe are the uh, catalyst accelerated epoxy like you use to fiberglass a boat, except we're not using fiberglass, we're using carbon fiber. So these paddles are made from the carbon fiber. Now carbon fiber is very high tensile strength it's really good if I am to pull one end to the other in tension, but what it's not really good for are impacts. If I'm going to hit this paddle on a sharp object or on a harder object than the carbon fiber, it will uh, fracture or shatter or crack. So uh, how Warner Senior, Warner Fuhrer Senior, shows a little bit of engineering prowess here. He adds a material that's more flexible and more resistant to to impacts, and that material has a trade name of Dynel. What Dynel is, is a mixture of acrylonitrile and uh, vinyl chloride. So acrylonitrile is a portion of ABS plastic. It's an acrylonitrile butadiene styrene. Uh, we know this plastic, those of you that are familiar with the, uh, the aquaculture industry, all those salmon cages, the black ones, those are ABS plastic for the most part. Uh, very flexible and they become more ductile or soft, flexible, the warmer they get but they remain ductile even below zero. So uh, the, other, the other plastic, vinyl chloride, is a portion of polyvinyl chloride, or PVC, used in, uh, in the plumbing industry, used for, for different conduit and pipe and that sort of thing. It's quite flexible as well, has fairly good impact resistance as well. So those two portions of those two types of plastic are made into a mat and, uh, and adhere to the edge of the blade. So the edge is more resistant to impacts and, and sharp objects and things. So those are the most likely areas that we're going to hit when paddling. When I plant this paddle, I may hit something in shallow water. So the edges are protected in that respect. So the Aikilos is, of course, a high angle style paddle. The shaft is kept uh, at a high angle in relation to the horizon. And as such, the blades have a fairly large surface area much like a whitewater blade. They are designed this way to capture as much water as possible, allowing for quick maneuvering and length strokes. To minimize flutter in the water, Warner has incorporated a dihedral, when you look at it end on, a dihedral shape 
into the blade. Now a dihedral shape, if you were to think of an airplane looking head on to an airplane, an airplane with upswept wings uh, is said to have dihedral shape to their wings. So uh, the dihedral here is there's a spine down the middle of the blade and upswept either side of that, that spine. That helps to shed the water a little bit more evenly and control how the water uh, sheds off the paddle. Um, that minimizes flutter. There's some uh, engineering into the shape as well. It's asymmetrical, meaning it's, it's different top to bottom, side to side. It's not, uh, it's not a mirror image down the middle uh, of itself. So Warner understands that uh, a lightweight paddle isn't 100% about the overall weight of the paddle, even though the uh, Kilos straight shaft is right around 704 grams. Sorry, so, yeah, 704 grams or 24.5 ounces right around there. Very light paddle anyway. But uh, they understand that the overall weight isn't everything in a lightweight paddle. Uh, something that is just as important is swing weight. And swing weight is essentially, uh, in physics, if you remember your grade 12, grade 11 physics, uh, swing weight is that moment arm from the center of rotation, which is essentially your core, out to the end of the paddle. If you have a lot of weight out of the end, it creates more torque because a uh, mass times a distance, of course, is your torque. So if I have, say, a pound at the end of my paddle, if my paddle is out there three feet to the end from my center, that would be three foot pound of torque. Uh, if I reduce the weight out there, say I have a half a pound, it's going to be 1.5 uh, foot pounds of torque that I'm going to have to generate just to move the paddle itself around. So the more weight I have out there, the more energy it's going to take for me to initiate my stroke and then to even stop my stroke once the paddle gets out of the water. That's a little bit of a force that my body has to counteract. And I mean, you don't feel it very much when you're paddling, but when you're doing thousands of strokes in a uh, three or four hour paddle, it does make a difference. And that's something that, uh, that Warner understands. So what they've done is inside of this paddle, instead of the paddle blade being solid or even hollow, uh, to retain rigidity in the paddle, they've, uh, they've injected a, a low density foam. captures a lot of air bubbles. So something that's important on the end of your stroke is that your your blade comes out real cleanly uh, at the end of the stroke so that you can uh, enter the other blade in the water and, and, and link your strokes together really cleanly. So something that helps in this clean exit of the blade is buoyancy, inherent buoyancy in the blade itself. So this, this foam it, uh, lessens the weight out of the end of the blade, out of the end of the paddle in comparison to a solid plastic blade or a solid fiberglass blade. As I said, it's hollow and it's just a couple of uh, layers of the matte carbon. So it, it aids in the buoyancy, it increases the buoyancy, uh, it keeps the blade very rigid and uh, it cuts down on the weight at the end of the blade. So Warner's doing a lot of engineering homework in this design. The Aikilos is available in uh, four basic sizes. Like I said, it's a high angle style blade, so we're gonna be on the shorter end of, of most uh, blade lengths. Uh, the shortest length you can get is 205 centimeters, and the longest length you can get is 220, with five uh, centimeter increments in between. So you're left with 205, 210, 215, and the 220 for your options. It's available in a solid shaft or a two-piece shaft. You can also get four-piece where the blades come off the ends as well. Uh, that's basically the Aikilos in a nutshell, uh, my overview of it. Uh, I haven't really showed you this, but the, uh, this is my personal paddle. It's what I use for just about everything from, from our courses uh, when I'm instructing. Uh, when I'm touring. When I circumnavigated Deer Island last year, this is the blade that I used. 
uh, when I'm in title races, uh, when I'm learning at courses uh, elsewhere, this is also the, the blade that I use. I'm very familiar with it. I use the bench shaft, keeps my uh, wrist in skeletal alignment, cuts down on fatigue there, and possibly may cut down on arthritis over time. It's a repeated load you're putting on that wrist, uh, and by keeping it in skeletal alignment a little better, you're reducing fatigue on one side of it. So uh, that's my reasoning for the bench shaft. The uh, Speaking of shafts, it's available straight shaft, the na natural bench shaft, and a small and a large diameter, it's being a large diameter and also a little bit smaller diameter uh, to fit uh, different size hands and, what, and whatnot. So ergonomics are uh, a big part of, of the performance core designs as well. I highly recommend it to anybody looking for a very good quality high angle style paddle. So that's the uh, Aikilos in a nutshell. Thanks for tuning in. Jeremy Klein, signing off.